Hi everyone, this is Instant Pot Life and I'm Angela. And today I'm making the perfect dessert in the Instant Pot. It's so delicious, you'll get your chocolate fix with this one. It is chocolate lava cake. And this time I'm making it gluten-free using almond flour. You also have the option to make it non-gluten-free and just use or substitute with all-purpose flour. So to start, I will show you how to make a two portion recipe. You can double it up. I will also include it on my website, myinstantpotlife.com. What you want to do is get your dark chocolate. I like to use 70% dark chocolate. If you like it a little sweeter, you can use milk chocolate, but I would highly recommend you reduce the amount of sugar that you use. I'm just going to open this up. Break it into small pieces. If you want, you can grab a knife and chopping board and do that. What we'll do next now is put the butter and the chocolate together and we're going to melt it in the microwave. So here we go. You see I have the butter and the chocolate melted together. I will need to whisk it now. Once that's nicely combined, we are going to add in the icing sugar uh, by sifting it through because otherwise it'll be a little clumpy. If it's hard to get the clumps out, just grab your spatula here and press it through. Next, you'll want to mix that up again and then add in your eggs. Once again, mix. Once that's nicely stirred, add in your almond flour. And mix again. Before putting it into your ramekins, remember to oil, butter, or use cooking spray and butter the sides and the, the bottom of your ramekin. Now we'll portion it into two. Now I'll just grab the Instant Pot. Now what you'll need to do is take the modern size. Add in your steam rack. And just place your remnants on top. And now we'll place it back into the Instant Pot. Select the cake function or high pressure cooking for 11 minutes. Hooray, it's done. So now we want to take it out of the Instant Pot. All right, we have one of them here. And what you want to do is just grab a knife and just loosen it gently from the ramekin. You want to do this while it's hot because this is the best way to have it come out of the ramekin nicely. So if it's too hot, use one of these gloves. Just grab it like that. Flip over your plate. Put your ramekin on it. And just flip it over. And now gently lift your ramekin up. And here you have it, perfect molten lava cake. And you'll see once I cut into it, there is the yummy, delicious chocolate oozing out. Enjoy, guys. 